James Worthy recently appeared on the Knuckleheads podcast with Quentin Richardson and Darius Miles. The trio had an interesting discussion that revolved around numerous subjects. However, one of the most intriguing segments was Worthy's response to the start, bench, and trade question. Start, bench, trade. You got to trade person, you got to start one, you got to bench one. Iceman, Dr. J, Larry Bird. Who do you start, who do you bench, who do you trade? Iceman is buckets anywhere on the floor. Nice. I told you I had one of my best defensive games ever <laughs> against Iceman. And the assistant coach, Bill Berker, came up to me and he's like, best defense ever against Ice. I've never seen anybody play a defense against Ice like you did. You got through every pick. Your hand was in his face. You you were physical with him. You did everything. How many you get? And I looked at Coach. I said, I said, Coach, he, he just dropped 47 on my ass. What you talking about? <laughs> he said, don't worry about the points. He said, don't worry about the points. Just worry about the – I said, all right. So I, I got to keep Ice, man. Ice starting. While his response might surprise some, his reasoning for his choices makes sense. Right after Wordy picked the Iceman to start, he explained why he cannot pass on the legendary Celtic, Larry Bird. Dr. J. Bird. I grew up a Dr. J fan. But Larry, Larry Bird. Bird. <laughs> I got to keep Larry. <laughs> because Doc didn't really have the outside shot. Yeah. He could get to the bucket. Ice could do it all from anywhere. Yeah. Larry could just flat out score and give you numbers and be talking shit. There were times where he would come out of a timeout. I remember this one time, you might've heard this before because he did it with a lot of people. I had to guard him. You know the play is coming, but he would tell you it's coming. He told you to play. You know, with DJ handling, Robert's gonna, Mikael's gonna set a flash, a pick for, for Robert. But Robert, that's only to free him up to come and set a pick for me. <laughs> and he says, if you trail, I'm gonna trail into the lane and to a little floater. And he said, if you fucking pop, he said, if you try to get over the top, he said, I'm gonna pop to that corner and bust a jumper in your fucking face. <laughs> I'm like, fuck you, man. I'm, I'm all up on it. <laughs> You know, I got his shirt tail. I'm holding it. You know, I'm like, you know, I'm like, you know where I'm from. I'm from Gastonia. I'm like, he ain't talking. He ain't gonna... Sure enough, man. The ball comes in. <laughs> DJ takes a couple of dribbles. I'm quick. I'm quick enough. I think I can get over the top. I, I I get over the top. I get out there, but he pops to the corner and I'm running. He kind of waiting. You know, wait, uh, and, and. <laughs> he was an asshole. Worthy continued to tell how Bird dominated the All Star three points contest, not only by shooting, but also with his legendary trash talking skills. Larry Bird used to, at the All Star game, for a few years, he would go into the locker room and all the contestants would be over there. Three point contest? All the three point contestants would be sitting in there about to go out. And he would walk in. He did this for like three or three years in a row. And he was like, which one of y'all is coming in second? And then he would just walk out and win the damn thing. <laughs> he was that good. I didn't like it, but he was, he was that That's good. When you walk off with that one finger up on your way. crooked thing. When it comes to rivalry, no two teams can match the Lakers and the Celtics. These two teams are essentially locked in an epic, Highlander style, decades long battle for NBA superiority, and it is far from over. And as we can learn from the words of big game James Worthy, the competitive hate still exists, even 40 years later. Tell us in the comments, what is your favorite bird against the Lakers moment? And if you enjoy this video, hit the like button, share and subscribe. For more basketball content, subscribe to our other channels, Free Dawkins and Vintage Dawkins, and follow us on social media.